Greetings golfers, from Duffer to Driver here, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be looking at what is inside a high handicapper's golf bag. Lucky for you, I'm a 27 handicap, and I have a golf bag, so let's look into it. So first thing you might notice about my bag is that it's not very fancy. It is pretty old and beat up. I bought the bag when I bought my first set of clubs. I came with everything that I needed for like 200 bucks. So you can get into golf for pretty cheap. I eventually changed out all my clubs, so I don't have anything that kept in that set, but I kept the bag because it still works. You can spend upwards of 100 to $300 for a brand new bag if you want, but honestly, as long as it holds clubs, you should be good. So you can tell this is quite an old bag. It's seen some better days, but I'm just gonna quickly go over what's in the bag. We'll come back to the clubs. Let's just check the pockets real quick. There's lots of storage in bags to keep all sorts of stuff. Small pocket here, this is where I keep all my tees. Next pocket over, this is where I keep all my golf balls. So a lot of these golf balls are ones that I found while looking for my ball. If ever you're knocking your balls off into the trees, in the woods, always pick up balls that aren't yours because they'll come in handy if you lose a lot of balls like me. Uh, I do buy golf balls from the golf store as well. I always buy the cheapest ones that they have. I'm not super specific on what kind of ball I need to play with as long as it's not expensive and I'm not worried about losing it. That helps me with my game. Small pocket up here. This is where I keep my golf glove and I will also keep my wallet and keys here for easy access. And then I don't have to worry about losing my stuff while I'm playing. Side pocket right here. You can put, fit some bigger stuff here. I have my tripod, which I use to film while on the course. My bag does come with a cylindrical spot here for an umbrella. This is a very old umbrella that just came with the bag in case it starts raining. Pretty helpful stuff. Other side here, got a small pocket here which I toss my towel to help try to try to keep my clubs clean. And right in here, there's nothing in here now, but usually I'll keep a rain jacket in here and uh, my water bottle as well for when I get thirsty. So you can put whatever you want in your bag. This is just what's in mine, but we all know what we came here for, the clubs. Now, before I go into the actual clubs that I own, uh, I do want to make the point that these are not the clubs that I started with. Again, the bag is the same, but most of the clubs I started with were very, very old. They were from like the 80s or 70s, like the driver was made of wood. If you want to get into golf, start small, buy a $100 set, $200 set, see if you like it, and then you're slowly just going to be putting more and more money in as you start upgrading your bag. It'll never end. Start slow. All my upgrades at first were all used clubs. I only have a few new clubs which I'll go over. So let's let's look what's in the bag. So let's start with the putter. So this putter is nothing special, nothing crazy. It's an Odyssey White Hot. It's a very old putter. It's been dinged up, it's dirty. I did have a simple blade putter that came with my set, but I didn't like it. It was actually bent, so it made putting very hard. This one's got the lines right in the middle there, so it makes putting easy for me. If you're just starting golf, honestly, the putter doesn't matter too much. Just put with whatever you have. When you start to get more into it, try different types of putters. Find the type of putter that works for you, whatever makes you feel confident and consistent in your putting, just use that. All right, so next thing we're gonna look at is my irons. Irons are the clubs that I bought brand new. So these are some, so they're the Cobra Rad Speed. It was a set that went from gap wedge to six iron, and then it also came with a hybrid, which I'll look at in a second. But these irons are very forgiving irons. They're made for beginners. I didn't necessarily get fitted. So I went to the golf store and went for a fitting. All that really was was me just testing out a bunch of different types of beginner friendly clubs in a simulator and then kind of just figuring out which one worked best for me. So I think I, when I bought the set last year, 
they retailed 700 Canadian, I think, or something like that. And that came with all the irons in the bag from gap wedge to six, as well as the hybrid. The hybrid I really like. I had two other hybrids that were also Cobra that I had bought used, and this one was miles ahead. So again, instead of a five iron, the set came with a five hybrid. I don't regret the decision. I, with my old set, it came with a five iron and a four iron actually, but definitely having a five hybrid makes life easier. And now for the grand finale, the driver, which I don't. I mean, if you're a high end handicap golfer, your driver is a love-hate relationship, basically. I love it. I hate it. It's a tailor-made R15. I bought this used off a gentleman for a hundred bucks. He was looking for something better and newer. I was just looking for a driver that wasn't made of wood. This is what we got. It's got weights on it. Uh, someone told me to put the weights on either side. That makes it more forgiving. It's still not forgiving in my opinion. <laughs> it is a 12 degree lofted driver, which I guess is more on the high end. It has lots of scuffs all over the place. If you're a high handicap golfer, do not expect your clubs to stay in great condition. I mean, you probably could keep them in good condition if you wanted to, but uh, you're gonna be skying the ball and getting all these sky marks on your driver if you're anything like me. So it's really nothing to sweat about. It's a tool, right? It's a nice looking tool, but in the end of the day, it's a tool. That's it for me today. I just want to do a quick little video showing you what's in the bag. It's nothing crazy, and this is just a video to show that you don't need anything crazy or expensive to get into golf. Again, I'm not amazing at golf, so <laughs> maybe this is why, who knows. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully now you don't have to feel self-conscious about your golf bag because you can see what mine looks like and I bring this out on a course. I also have a really old looking pull cart which also looks like it's from the 80s. Uh, I got it for 20 bucks. The wheels are about to fall off. It doesn't matter. You know, we're on the course, we're having fun, it's a good time, right? Make sure to like and subscribe, really appreciate all you guys, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Cheers.